Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the broil element on your range. In today's ranges, the broil element is used for both the broil function and for the bake function. If it fails, you will lose your broil function and your bake function will not work as well. It's a reasonably easy job to change, so let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the range. So either pull it forward and unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. On this particular model, the boil element is attached to the ceiling of the oven cavity with a couple of wire brackets, and we'll need to remove those. So we'll begin by taking out one or more of the racks so that we can gain access to these mounting screws that secure those wires on. Typically a quarter inch hex head screw, so we'll go ahead and remove those next. Next we'll remove those screws in the ceiling, and hold those brackets in place. And we'll just set those aside. And then we'll remove the mounting screws at the very back. You just support that element and remove the last screw. And you may be able to pull those out far enough that the wire terminals will come out through those openings, but normally they don't. And you'll need to go remove the back panel to access the terminals. So next we'll take the back panel off, starting with the upper back panel. Remove three screws across the bottom of that panel. And then a single one at the top. And just support the panel while you remove that last screw and slide that out. Now you will be able to see the broil element terminals from this area, but we're going to give you a little bit better view. We'll continue to take the rest of the screws out of the back panel, so you'll see what we're doing. And then the last one in the top center. So we'll need to remove both of these wires and just inspect those, make sure there's no signs of arcing or corrosion. And if so, you'll need to replace the terminal ends. And with both wires off, we can now go back to the front of the oven and we'll pull that element out through. So now that we've removed the wires from the terminals on the back of the element, we can then pull that element out through the opening and we'll discard the old one. And we'll position the new one, line up those terminal ends through the openings at the back of the wall. Make sure they're fully inserted. And then we can install the mounting screws. Next, the wire retaining straps in the ceiling. We'll put the pointed end into the ceiling first, and then position that element. Then we'll 
install the mounting screw on the opposite end. And now we'll attach the wires to the terminals at the rear. Now that we have the element attached to the inside, we can go ahead and put the wire terminals on. Make sure they fit nice and snug. And put the back panel back on. We'll want to make sure that we engage these tabs across the bottom into the slotted openings at the back. And we'll line up that screw at the top and we'll put it in first. the lower panel in place. We'll next install the upper portion. Make sure that we tuck these tabs in behind the lip at the back of the control panel. And then we'll install that top center screw first. on the bottom and install those. And now we'll go to the front of the range so that we can put the racks back in and close it up. Now I'll go ahead and put that rack back in. Ready to reconnect the power, and our repair is complete.